Hello everyone and welcome to Wokolandia. The main project today is something about Fimo. I used this polymer paste for a while in a different custom and because of that I want to try to make something from scratch using only this material. For start pressing some aluminum I create this sphere which will be the main body of my own Orco, the most powerful wizard of Eternia, and one of the master of the universe, of course. I already prepared this flat material to be wrapped around the sphere to simulate the dress. Using some sculpting tool, I modeled the body, and like you see, I made it very small in compare with the vintage one. Using these sausages I made the arm, but only after cooking the main body. Step by step I made and cooked all the pieces separately and now it's time to make the end. I decided for a free finger hand because initially I wanted to make a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle custom, but after I prefer a good looking orco instead. Now that the turtle hands are ready, we can glue all together. But first I need to drill the two parts for insert a piece of steel wire and make the bond stronger. I use super glue on the wire and on the base for have a good bond. And for create the shoulder joint I use the same technique, but I glue the wire only on the shoulder that will be only insert on the main body. For the head 
I use the same technique of the body. I press a little aluminum sphere and after I cover the sphere with some Fimo. After that, with the, this piece of Lego, I made the eyes. Now it's time to make the wizard hat and I use the same technique of the body and the head. I use aluminum for the base and some Fimo wrap around. I do some stuff off camera, but the process is quite the same. Here I have already made the scarf and attach and mold the head on the wizard hat. And now the final touch, it's time to make the ears. Okay, the model is finished and it's time to assemble all the parts together. Okay, I found this transparent piece from Lego and is perfect for this custom. And now Orko can fly around. The model is done, but wait here, now it's time to color. Because all of you ask me about what type of color I use, I wanna take some time and show you my cheap acrylic paint. Fimo gloss varnish is awesome for finalized paint on toys and perfect on Fimo. And with that the custom is finished. Like always if you have some question comment down below. And remember like, share and subscribe really help me on the channel. And ring the bell for not miss the next video.